Namaskar everyone. Today we have with us uh, Dr. Kapil Sharma ji from DAVV Indore. He is an associate professor in the area of finance and he is a prolific researcher, has published various research paper, case studies and most importantly he is into uh, training and development. He has developed uh, many case studies also and has trained many teachers uh, via faculty development programs, online development programs etc. So, we welcome him today for our program here uh, on the case study methodology uh, for teachers, especially in the domain of management and commerce. Uh, welcome sir, uh, I would request you to please uh, start your talk and uh, share in a brief about case study. Namaskar everyone and thank you Ankurji for inviting me to this session. Management students need to have an in-depth understanding of various management concepts and their applications in different situations and to handle them effectively. Number of teaching pedagogy is used in management education, one of them being case method which is widely used in management education. Case study method helps students in developing wisdom and gives lot of scope for application of knowledge. A case is a narrative or a story that recounts real or non-real events or problems so that the students experience the complexities, ambiguities and uncertainties confronted by the original participants in the case. It contains information and students must identify key components from the information for the purpose of analysis interpretation and finally decision making. Cases can involve situation which decision must be made or problem must be solved or they can involve evaluation or reconsideration of existing policies, practices or proposals. Effective cases are usually based on real events but can be drawn from both the present and the past, even the distinct past. Generally, cases require students to make choices about what theory or concepts to apply in conducting the analysis, which is the distant from one to one correspondence between theory and application and they see in their textbook or hear in lectures. Uh, sir, having understood about uh, what uh, is the case, I wish to know that uh, what happens in a case method uh, classroom and what is the role of a teacher in case method uh, classroom teaching? This is a very pertinent question Ankurji. The success of a case discussion to a great extent depends upon the role of a teacher dealing with the case in the classroom. In a discussion on a case, students analyze the information in the case and use it to solve the problem set up by the case. The discussion can take many forms and it is here the role of teacher becomes very important. A case teacher resembles an orchestra instructor who creates music by coordinating individual's performance. This he does by providing key signals and knowing what the outcome should be. A case teacher also generates learning by eliciting individual observations and analysis, asking key questions and knowing what learning outcome the teacher wants the students to achieve. Just like an orchestra instructor cannot make orchestral music alone, the case teacher cannot generate learning through case alone. It depends upon individual as well as collective performance to achieved stated goals. Case teacher is very learning centered approach characterized by intense interaction between instructor and student as well as among students in a group. It may involve directed question by faculty to help students draw out the information from the case and identify the central decision or evaluation that needs to be made. Depending upon the type of the case, the teacher may even pose open-ended questions 
and discussions so as to enable students to evaluate options and weigh the evidence focused on specific analytical skills. Many faculty members use role play as a technique to put students completely in the case environment. Ideally, a case method discussion involves mostly conversation between and amongst the students rather than discussion centered di on direct participation of the faculty member. Sir, what I understand that in a case discussion, the role of a teacher is more of a facilitator. Uh, the same is uh, with any other type of uh, teaching. Then how does a case teaching differ from a traditional teaching? Let me, before explaining the difference between a traditional teaching and a case based teaching, highlight the factor that the objective of both the method is largely the same. No matter whatever pedagogy is used by a faculty, their main objective is that the students learn significant disciplinary content, refine their critical thinking and communication skills. Now, the difference between case and a traditional teaching derives from the fact about how the teacher wants to achieve this goal and in the most effective way. Traditional teaching depends upon teachers transmitting the data in a clear and interesting manner. In a lecture class, the teacher is at the central stage, does most of the talking and provides most of the information and analysis to the students. Students are largely dominant in the class and spend most of the time writing whatever the teacher is delivering in the class. But in a case teaching, as discussed earlier, students occupy the central stage. They are given significant responsibility for what and how they are learning. The instructor in the case class is no longer the automatic teller machine, spelling forth facts and theories, but his role is that of a facilitator or a catalyst to the discussion. Moreover, developing a lecture involves choice about the quantity and scope of information and analysis a teacher wants to present in the class. Moreover, notes for a case class looks like a roadmap. Preparation involves making decisions, articulating a perspective, dealing with a question strategy, arguments and theories implicit in the case. A case class also differs from traditional classroom experience in terms of material used and the activity during the class. In case teaching, the teacher helps students work collectively through the material and to understand to the students are asked not only to learn about the theory but also apply it to the real world situation. In this process, students learn facts because they are central to the case analysis. Moreover, they also acquire requisite lifelong learning skills of analysis, communication and collaboration because they are necessary tools to unravel the puzzle that is in the case. Many people argue that case class shares characteristics with that of a good discussion seminar. But the two teaching strategies are not identical. A seminar discussion might revolve around debating certain point of view articulated in class reading, whereas a case class examines a real world problem, for example, the economic crisis of 2009 and asks students to pull competing perspectives out of the story itself. A good case presents the economic, political and social facts of the problems and requires students to grapple with the nuances of the situation either explicitly through role playing or implicitly through the questioning strategy of the instructor. Sir, in Harvard and IIMs, we see a lot of case study discussion. So, I want to know that how many types of cases are there and uh, what is the, the format uh, in that case? Generally, we divide cases into two categories, retrospective or narrative case and decision forcing case. A retrospective of a narrat or a narrative case presents a comprehensive history of a problem complete with multiple factors, contending interests 
and real outcomes. Here, students identify alternative options and analyze why this outcome resulted when other better possible solutions existed. Whereas, a decision forcing case stops short of revealing the outcome, thus forcing students to identify and access the range of possible outcomes for or typically these cases have an epilogue which tells the rest of the story again and students analyze why this happened. As far as the format of the case is concerned, it varies. Cases can be formal, written cases, a lead newspaper article, a movie clip, a TV or a radio news story, a movie, a mathematical work problem, a piece of art or any other material all can be used as a case subject to the condition that it illustrates issues and factors typical kind of a problem under examination, reflects theoretical framework, underscores prevailing disciplinary assumptions and principles and reveals realistic complexities and tensions. Sir, in what context the cases are used and uh, is case method only used in management or also used in other disciplines also? Ankurji, it is a general myth that case studies are used only in management. Faculty members can use cases in any discipline in which they can effectively manage discussion. Cases are used effectively to teach critical thinking and quantitative reasoning and have been successfully applied in a wide range of discipline including political science, economics, law, business, chemistry, history, linguistic, international studies, computer science, criminal science, criminal justice, etc. and at both graduate and postgraduate classrooms. Uh, so, sir, how do I select a case and uh, what should be the guiding force uh, behind deciding upon a case for a class discussion? Selection of a case is one of the most crucial component for the success of a case based method teaching. Many teachers believe that a long case is a good case, but it is not necessary that a good case has to be a long one. Students generally like cases that are very small, maybe 4 to 7 pages, not including charts, supporting documents or references. Shorter cases generally mean students are better prepared for discussion because they have more time to read cases more thoroughly. However, I do not want to give it as a thumb rule that cases should be small. Further, while selecting a case, a faculty must read it two or three times. Case should not be selected just because the topic matches one's own research or teaching interest. One must always consider how the case fits with the overall teaching and learning objectives for the class. Cases are not meant to substitute for a text or a journal article, rather cases are supplemental teaching vehicles that illustrate theoretical claims and disciplinary concerns, assumptions and insights. As students inhibit a decision making situation in a case, they have an opportunity to practice skills that they will use later in their careers. Hence, carefully consider the specific effective and cognitive skills you would like your students to practice and accordingly select a case that fits, that fits into your desired teaching outcomes. Sir, what I gather from our discussion till yet is that a key element in the success of a case uh, based class is students participation. Uh, but I have encountered number of uh, faculty members complaining about the students not coming prepared with the case uh, before the class. So, where according to you lies the main problem and uh, how does uh, one prepare students for a healthy participation uh, in a case based class? Ankurji, the problem you mentioned is a very common problem faced by teachers dealing with cases. Well, there is no standard answer to the problem, but to make the class participative in the case discussion, a teacher must take few steps. In order to prepare students for a healthy participation in a case based class, 
I want to say that this process starts at the time of planning for the semester. Mm -hmm. Typically, we spend lot of time planning for the course. We decide over which text or cases to use, which topics to cover and in what sequence, how much reading to assign per week and when to plan our assignments or examinations. Well, this is only half of the picture. However, we must also prepare the students for participation in an active classroom. The goal is to establish an environment where participation is the norm and where students feel comfortable joining the conversation. This means that the teacher will have to change the expectations most students have when they enter the classroom. Traditionally, most students are accustomed to lecture and not participatory classes. Silence is often considered by teachers uh, as a sign that students are paying attention in their class. Changing your teaching to include active learning techniques require changing classroom culture. One of the first day, the one must attempt uh, make an attempt to put students on notice that this class is going to be different and participation will be crucial to their success. Be patient but firm about the seriousness of the requirement. Remind them when you run a case, everyone has to access the same material. Provide plenty of opportunities for students to participate in a non-threatening environment. To do this, think about what softball questions you will use so that students feel comfortable engaging in class discussions. Explain them why you require participation as it enhances and improves learning. Emphasize on how important preparation is to good participation. Most important, define what you mean by participation to demonstrate just how critical this component of your course will be spend significant time with your students on this topic. Further, give your students practical advice about how to prepare for a case class. A careful reading of a case prior to class is not probably going to be enough preparation. Students must read, assimilate, question and speculate prior to class for the classroom experience to move quickly to sophisticated levels of analysis. For most students, it is simply too hard to think about the complex issues in a case as it is rapidly unfolding in the class without having the opportunities to spend time with the issues, the data and the possible solution before class. Hence, it is better to give them something in writing to remind them about preparing for case discussion. This may include points such as what are the broad issues, are there data appendices to consider, read the case carefully, make margin notes, what are the key problems in the case, make a list, prioritize these problems, develop a set of recommendations, evaluate your recommendations versus alternatives. Discuss your analysis with others in the class. At times, it is better to provide study questions as they help in focusing attention on specific aspects of a case, helping students to orient in case issues when they come into class. This technique can help the unprepared students to become at least partially engaged in the material for the day. Students questions can be similar to the discussion questions planned for use by the teacher during the actual case discussion or they can focus on the main theme in a more general way. Either way, they are aimed at stimulating the students to think before the case discussion actually starts. Last but not the least way to provide incentives to students by making participation part of your evaluation process. Researchers have shown that this has led to increase in constructive discussion in the case-based class.